Just after 7.30 a.m. Pacific time, a large explosion rocked the Los Angeles area. The effects of the blast are so extensive that it has thrown Southern California into virtual chaos. That video set into motion a drill in Los Angeles County for the response to the mock detonation of a 10 kiloton improvised nuclear device. Although it was a drill, the county's response to the simulation was real and its emergency operations center was activated to provide command and control operations in response to the detonation. One reason to simulate emergencies is to help determine what to expect. Expected surprises with respect to, you know, uh, a certain amount of casualties, a certain amount of uh, problems reaching people that need aid, problems getting, you know, water in the aftermath or, or, or shelter if they need immediate shelter. The drill also provided a way to test a countywide icy burning system that monitors the presence of hazardous materials. The system allows hazmat instruments used by first responders to stream information to the internet where officials and subject matter experts can view it and work together to determine the appropriate response. What we were trying to do is take their existing equipment and the existing information systems and use open standards and communication protocols to uh, allow them to share that data and that information seamlessly with whoever needed it with the right amount of information that they need so they could respond appropriately. The IC Bernie system is made up of three features. First, a network communicator connects to the first responder's instrument and sends the raw data to a computer application that emulates the instrument's screen. Second, a gateway allows the data to be transmitted over the internet. And third, the data is transmitted through global standards so it can be shared using the agency's tool of choice. So the guys in the back of the trucks want, you know, one switch, turn it on. They don't want to think about it. They just want to be connected. Mm -hmm. And we've really been very careful with their help uh, in making sure that these systems and this integration effort is as simple as it is effective. One switch turns it on, there's one icon on their desktop to get things loaded, and the embedding it as part of the standards just happens. The system was demonstrated by the Burbank Fire Department to the media, and firefighters also demonstrated donning a Level A hazmat suit, which provides the highest level of protection against vapors, gases, mists, and particles. Although it's impossible to predict and plan for all aspects of a natural or man-made disaster, LA County is working to be as prepared as possible. For more on the drill, read the article in this month's issue of Emergency Management Magazine.